Okay, now that we have our piece cleaned, primed, and painted, um, we are going to apply our um, decor transfers. So, um, if you're not familiar with decor transfers, they're a rub-on graphic that you can put on furniture, walls, home decor, just about anything, canvas, um, wall art, whatever. So they basically, um, they come in little tubes like this and they're, um, there's the whole image of this one. They come in all different varieties of patterns and colors and um, styles. This one is this big, large floral shape with some fun um, texture in the background. I actually, I don't normally use them like this. I usually chop them up and put them on my furniture where I see fit to kind of customize and make something a little more unique. Um, and I like to do a lot of layers. So I'll layer stencils and transfers and, um, you know, just different, different layers to create depth on my pieces. So um, the transfers come on, they come on two sheets. So you have the backing paper like this that you peel away and then the, the um, transfer sheet, which the graphic is actually stuck to. So what I've done is I, I've gone ahead and I've cut my rub-on graphic into um, the three sizes of my drawers, okay? So um, I decided I wanna put this one here and I wanna put this one here and then um, I, on the bottom, I'm going to do kind of a little chop, chopping up of them. I'm going to figure out where I want to place these. And then I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling through there. So um, basically, you want to apply the rub-on transfers directly on the paint. So once you paint, then it's time for transfer. Then after the transfer, we will seal it. And the transfers can be sealed and need to be sealed with uh, clear wax or any water-based sealer. So no oil-based sealers, um, really just like a polycrylic or Dixie Belle top coat or clear wax. Those work the best. So basically when I'm ready to put on my, my first graphic or my graphic, I line it up where I want, make sure it's gonna fit. I want to peel away slowly the backing paper, make sure it doesn't come off. You want it to stick to the transfer sheet. Okay, so you want to be careful not to touch the back because it's adhesive. So you don't want it to become unadhesive. So we're going to kind of roughly eyeball where we're going to place it here. And then once we kind of have it where we think we're going to lay it down, we're pretty confident we have our it lined up well then we can go ahead and stick it and just kind of rub it on so that it sticks okay so you'll see how my transfer is a little bigger on each side and I did that so that I wanted to make sure it was covering the sides I didn't want it to be too short so I'm just going to take a sharp knife and I'm going to cut it be careful not to cut my paint. I'm just gonna cut it to shape here. Carefully. And now it's time to apply the graphic. So the actual transfers come with a little wooden stick like a popsicle stick that you can use to apply the transfer. Um, Prima, Redesign with Prima also sells this cool transfer transfer tool. It's got two different sized ends and then this large end has this little hook type thing for going around the edges of drawers or in the crevices which is really cool. So um, the stick works just fine but if you want to get fancy with it, make life a little bit easier, um, you can get this fancy transfer tool. So then we just start rubbing all over, okay? I'm going to rub the whole graphic and it takes a little bit of firm pressure, okay? So just a little bit of elbow grease. But you wanna make sure you go over the whole graphic really well. Make sure it sticks. So once you're pretty sure you've gone over your whole entire graphic, you're going to pick a corner 
and start peeling it away slowly. And you want to go slow just in case you didn't get a part that sticks you can just lay your you lay your transfer paper back down and give it a good rub again so slowly peel it away or your transfer paper is peeled away. You wanna take a soft cloth or your finger and you wanna go over the whole transfer, especially the edges, and burnish it. Burnishing is basically just to rub it in um, to make sure that it's on there really well. You wanna make sure the air bubbles are popped or the wrinkles are, are um, smoothed out because that's, really that's really what's going to keep your transfer long lasting is if it is stuck on there and adhered properly. Okay, so once you've gone over your whole paint transfer, transfer area, um, then you can seal it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying them to the rest of my drawers, and then I'm going to seal it with um, Dixie Belle top coat and satin, okay? Um, I, I'm gonna be doing some stenciling on the fronts of the drawers, just a little bit here and there um, to add a little bit of gold, some bling bling. So I'm actually um, going to use a stick and style stencil, which I'll show you a little bit later. And that is a adhesive back stencil. I can't apply that directly to the transfer or it'll pull my transfer up. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and seal it and then do my stencil. So I wanna make sure that this is lined up with the top. See those leaves there? How they line up? This one lines up with this one and so on and so forth down the line. So once I have those lined up how I want them, make sure everything fits, then I can start rubbing my transfer. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these ends off now. Rub away. it all so we're going to go ahead and pick the corner up and go ahead and start peeling it back Thank <laughs> you. 
color number two. Go ahead and burnish it with our fingers, just rubbing in the transfer, popping any bubbles, re, uh, um, smoothing out any wrinkles, making sure our edges are down really well. So there's drawer number two. And now we're, I'm just gonna do a, a few little sections on um, our third drawer. Um, like I said, I'm gonna stencil that. So I'm only putting a few little pieces. So I've got this little flower that's pretty. I think I might put that somewhere off to the side. And then I've got this text that I'm thinking might go um, kind of just kind of underneath that a little bit. And then I'm gonna do my stenciling kind of through here. So, Unless I do them all to one side and have my sink clean them here. No, I'll do them. I'll do them like like I said. Okay, so I'm gonna line this bad boy up with the top edge of my drawer. Rub it on with my transfer tool. in the edges and the, the graphic to make sure it's on there really well. And then my last piece is this little bit of text. I think, you know what, I think I'm actually gonna just throw it kind of overlapping my flower a little bit, just a little bit. And then I'll do this, the stencil through the, through the bottom of the drawer. I think that'll look good. So I'm gonna rub it on just like I did the others. The great thing about these transfers is that you can cut them up, like I said, and, and chop them up. You can use different parts of different transfers with, you know, other designs, and it's a lot of fun. You can really get creative with it. Um, I am capable of hand painting flowers and all these types of things, but the great thing about this is that it saves you time. You don't have to hand paint that, you know? That leaves you time to work on other projects or, you know, not have to charge a billion dollars for one piece of furniture and spend you know a week hand painting it so I do appreciate the hand painted graphics but I also appreciate the efficiency and the cost savings that the um, transfers give me and it's easier than decoupage less messy and less materials that you need to, to decoupage so that is our um, transfer um, to transfer drawer fronts. Like I said, now I'm going to seal it with some Dixie Bell top coat and satin. Okay, after our clear coat satin, our top coat satin is dry, we are ready to do our um, little bits of stenciling to uh, get some gold going on in here. And I'm going to be using a stick and style stencil roll. It's from Redesign with Prima. Um, it is uh, 15 yards of stencil that has adhesive on the back. So it sticks to whatever. It's disposable, you can throw it away, or you can also reuse it if you wish to. So um, that's totally up to you. You can use it either way. I usually dispose of it unless I'm using the same portion. Um, I'll use it for the same piece and then throw it away. Um, but this stuff is great. It's just a perfect amount of sticky to stick to your a piece and not get that seepage from paint or whatever underneath the stencil um, but it also comes up and knock on wood I've never had it pull up paint or anything like that so it's the perfect amount of sticky I'm going to um, kind of measure out what I need here 
And I'm just gonna cut it with scissors. I'm gonna cut off what I need. And then I am going to line it up. So I'm gonna line it up. Um, I wanna make sure it's, I wanna make sure it's going all the way across. I don't want a crooked stencil. You could measure if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna eyeball it and make sure it's fairly, fairly straight, straight on and straight. I think, I think that's pretty straight. I'm looking at the bottom line here under the drawer and it doesn't, well, maybe a little crooked. Okay, so get it lined up on there straight where you want it and just stick it down. And then you can apply with, you know, paint with a foam roller or um, gilding wax with your finger. I'm going to do gilding wax with um, this little craft brush, little round wax brush. Um, I'm using Decor Wax from Redesign with Prima in the color Eternal, which is just gold. It's a nice, um, not quite antique gold, but not quite super, uh, super shiny gold. I mean, it's shiny, but it's not like in your face shiny. And I'm just gonna go in circular motions over my stencil and cover it with the gilding wax. It does not take a whole lot. You don't need a whole lot of the wax. And if for some reason you get some wax where you don't want it on by mistake, you can take some clear wax um, with a little brush or your finger or soft cloth and use that as an eraser to get up your um, colored or gilding wax. I'm just covering the areas I want to cover my stencil here. And let's go over it one more time, make sure it's all even. And then I just peel it up. And I am left with stencil. I will give you a little closer look here. Um, Kind of high up. Here, there's a little closer of a look. So I got my pattern, and these stick and styles come in several different patterns. Um, this one is called Calypso Lattice. It's my favorite. I use it on a lot of things, um, and it's my favorite. And the same roll has lasted me for so so long. Um, I'm gonna move around to the side, and um, you can see where I placed my transfers. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, but I might do, I might do up and down. I might do across. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I'll do across here. going to go in these negative spaces where there's no transfer. I'm not going to go straight across. I'm just going to go in these little negative space areas. I'm going to go, so I'll basically go around the transfer. I could overlap it if I wanted to, but I want my little pretty leaves and flowers to show, so I'm not, I'm not going to overlap it. I have before though. And then I just pull that up. And voila, I've got some stenciling around the side. So I'm gonna do that around the other side. And then um, this,